welcome back to exploring with Jake and everybody else that's with me. We are going down the old abandoned tunnels underneath Stockport, guys. So without further ado, let's take you around it. Hope you like the video. Post notifications, subscribe to me and subscribe to me only. Peace. As you can see, guys, you've got the old handrails here. Would have had many old hands on this back in the day. Pretty cool, to be fair, that it's still here, but not much of it's still there. I've got a little tiny bit. That's mad. Thank you. Yeah, guys, we are underneath. I don't know how well you can see. You can see more or less all the like bushes and stuff. This is how high it gets the water. The stop port underneath the bridge. Pretty mad. Right, guys, there you go. I've just literally uncovered the bottom of the step. So this is a staircase going to somebody's house. Because we are underneath Stockport right now. Um, not many people know about this, but there is a passageway underneath the town centre of Stockport. So we are going to take you down, show you around. So this is the part right next to Chester Gate anyway. It's the Chester Gate pub. You have the old farm foods there. Bit of a crap day here today guys obviously the lights aren't working so we have to use the ones that we've got but we are probably under about JD right now inside Stockport um, Mersey Way shopping centre like I said there's just literally passages all the way underneath here and I found some sort of building last time, but my battery ran out. Um, so I thought I'd bring you down here anyway, guys. Take you on a little adventure on my own. Was a uh, board. I thought, you know what? I'm going to go exploring on my own. Nobody's coming out to play. So Jake will just come out to play on his own, eh? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're underneath Stockport. Basically, Stockport, back in the day, was built over so there is buildings underneath Stockport and that is exactly what we're here for we're going to try and find some remnants some history on some of the old buildings that used to be down here I'm going to go climbing I'm going to go um, history hunting never know what I could uncover I like a little crane here at the uh, used to clean up and down underneath the bridge just in case it got um just in case something got stuck underneath the bridge they can go down with that crane and obviously you can see it's got rails all the way along so wherever it's stuck they can sort it out with that crane any maintenance that needs doing people it's very dark down here can't really see much you can see the bollards that are lighting up down there I think that's um, a warning level for water just in case the water level goes too high and you can see where you're going I don't know I don't know what the four guys so but I would say it'd be like a warning level type thing say if the water comes over these edges But we are mooching all the way down here, guys, anyway. I'm gonna have a look. All right, lots of scaffolding bars, lots of planks. I thought that was a building last time when I come. It just it looks like a bit of a building, to be, to be completely honest, guys. It's like up there, it goes left and then right. I'm going to get up there though and have a look properly. But last time we come, we found lots of pots 
and lots of all sorts of different stuff and there it is this is the stuff that we found last time so you've got like old china cups old plates old pots you've got old bottle lids here old chimney pipes well old pipes and then you've got like some mad little waterway thing this is where i think this is uh, another building here but then as you go further up here actually into the brick It really looks like a fireplace. It's pretty crazy, guys. But then, if you come over to this side, right, it looks like there was a wall here, right, that made a room. And then, literally, there's like a coat rail here. And then there's some stairs, literally, the stairs are here, you can uncover them with your hands, but I don't know what it used to be, see, so it's like that is a building, this is like a basement or a front room from back in the day, short of stairs coming down, got like a coat rail here, I don't know, because it looks like there's more stairs here. Oh, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Like, it's pretty mad to be fair, guys, yeah. So literally since the, like, this has fell down, the rocks, it's uncovering bits of old pots. Literally, you can just see it in the, in the stone. Pieces of glass. We got another piece of plate here. Might be there though as well. It's like that's going up again. Well. And if you look, it's an arch, like a window, seriously, and then there's one next to it as well that's bricked up, yo what's that? So right guys, there is literally a door there, there's a window there, there's another window there, and then there's just a big massive pile of dirt, so it's definitely a building, I don't know, but yeah guys that's about it. I'm underneath Stockport. It's not that interesting to be fair. It's just underneath a bridge. But there was a couple of buildings that used to be there. Definitely is. There's remnants of uh, household stuff as well. Pots, pan, well, plates, cups, bone china. It's a bit unusual to be underneath a bridge. And when they dug up the car park where Red Rock is last time, they found lots and lots of uh, house remains <coughs> of a couple of buildings that was down there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Joining and exploring with Jake on this uh, little mad adventure anyway guys I hope you liked the video peace